Okay, hello, greetings and welcome. All right, so so the next question to come through relates to the the relationship between the the mind, the the chi and the body. Tai Chi says mind moves chi, chi moves body. What does that actually mean? All right. Now, without going into deep hermetic theory on the metal astral and physical bodies and that, the way they synchronize, we'll go into an easy way that a beginner can learn to move chi without any concept of chi. And I use this approach when I'm, I'm teaching um, uh, hardcore skeptics. So I remove the word chi and I insert the word relaxation. So your mind connects to relaxation. You relax, hang the muscles, so you're essentially sinking the relaxation downward, and from this relaxation and sinking, you move. You generate relaxation to move body. So what happens when you relax and you move? The muscles release, and the fascia web to con con compensate and hold your structure connect. So we're essentially transferring force from muscle to fascia by relaxing. Now, if I see a person thinking about what they're doing, I'll use the word, okay, feel and open up the relaxation into the space around you. Your, your mind intent has to be large. Your mental space has to be large and your relaxation has to be large. Remember, relax is a substitute for chi. Now, this is very palatable for, for these types of people. So what they do is they go, okay, I'll relax, open up my mental space, ra radiate relaxation around me. And if they don't believe they can do that, I say, well, feel relaxation and imagine it radiating around you. Now, as your muscles relax and they hang, it let the, the, the muscles let go and the relaxation permeate. So people very, very quickly start defining different types of relaxation. Okay, so what are the re types of relaxation? Relaxing muscle tension. Feel the muscle tension gripping the bones and let that tension relax and release. Feel your emotional tension, your anxiety about the process of learning, about performance, about what other people think about you, about your environment. Now relax your emotional tension off. Now look at your mental tension. The process of, of how you how you are engaging what you're doing and relax this mental tension. So when mental anxiety releases, what happens? We have more mental space. When emotional anxiety releases, we feel inner calm. When physical tension releases, the muscles hang. So you introduce various forms of relaxation into the equation so that the person can relax in all these deeper and deeper layers. As they get, get these deeper layers of relaxation forming, people will automatically start to, to get a sense of energy moving via the relaxation. Because as soon as you transfer load from muscle to fascia with a wave of relaxation, the energy of the body will flow with the relaxation. So mind moves relaxation, relaxation moves body. You'll get a current of energy, vital and astral, uh, vitality and chi, and chi, moving with the relaxation. And as they get these waves of relaxation moving, they'll start to identify there's something there. You teach them building the ball after they've done that, and they go, what is this, uh, this magnetic quality between the hands? What is this fluidic quality? And the journey begins for those more skeptical types of people. So that's a very quick way to introduce Tai Chi to people who are, are not interested in Qi or not interested in internal. They may just want to be doing this for their health and their own sense of well-being. So as you get into this uh, uh, path and you start sharing it with other people, you have to sugarcoat or adapt your words to fit the person. If you give some, uh, uh, if you verbalize things in such a way that a person's going to feel um, that they can show bias against your words, you teach them the same thing with different words. You reframe everything. By reframing, 
you're going to find that uh, you put yourself in a position in which people can have experiences without the intellect arguing with with the, the learning process. So you have to bypass their own scepticism, bypass their own um, uh, red flags, that, oh, that word means this, I don't believe in that, and just remove those words out of your vocabulary when you're teaching those types of people. Now, remember, as a teacher, you have to transmit the feeling of what you want someone to feel to them as you guide them through the process. So you fill the space with astral energy, with chi, so they get enveloped in it, and when they relax and move, that energy moves with them. So what happens then, they go home, and they, their body remembers the feeling. Now, they won't have access to the same volume that, that the teacher can produce, but they'll have access to the feeling the teacher produced. And then as they move with the feeling, they produce their own volume out of that. So a huge benefit to the student if you transmit energy into the space that, that you're working within. Charge the room with energy. Okay, we'll leave that one there. Thanks for your time.